26 April 2016 Tuesday a Queen's Vet Surgery This is the peripheral blood smear of the one-year-old poodle with thrombocytopenia and anemia Now the the blood smear shows that the dog still has babies here canis but much less than two weeks ago this blood smear is taken one uh, after the first injection two weeks ago the first injection was around April the 9th to 016 and uh, there were lots of red blood cells infested with babies here but now as you can see there are not many occasionally one you can see here the baby cell canis there's one there and uh, most of the red blood cells are not parasitized there's another one there and uh, it's hard to find now compared to two weeks ago so it's under oil immersion Queen's vet now we, sh we see at the monitor a part of it now you can see the red blood cells you can see the baby seer canis in one red blood cell and uh, there's another one here this one but it's not very, sh very uh, sharp you can see the tear, sh tear shaped merozoid now this is the white blood cell and this one you can see the spikes of the red blood cells hemolyzed or what you call spiro spirozoids now other than that it's not very obvious there are not many parasites inside the red blood cells has two weeks ago the dog is no more anemic on general examination although the blood the red blood cells in hemoglobin are still below normal but uh, it's not uh, considered anemic based on examination of mucous membrane the gums they are pink see another video so this is the situation now and the dog is eating and drinking and generally active it came for the second injection of Imazo two weeks after the first and uh, so far so good there is no complaint about loss of appetite or lethargy now this camera is under oil, oil immersion, this lens and uh, you can see that not many of the red blood cells are infested with the merozoids, the baby seal canis it might have an occasional one as in this case Let's see. Mm. 
there on the left there's one with the merozoids inside the red blood cells which has become spiky white blood cell is beside it let's see whether I get a bigger view okay here it is to focus okay let's focus on it and see now But you can see on the screen more clearly this complete the blood smear examination of babies here canis in a one year old male poodle which suffered from anemia and thrombocytopenia on April the 9th. This blood smear is taken on 14 days after April, 20, on 20, April 23rd, two weeks after the first injection of imizol. And as you can see, out of the so many blood, the blood cells, if you compare to the previous slide, I can only see about two two red blood cells with infestation of Babesia canis this one being one of it which is beside a, beside a neutrophil and there's another one here beside a lymphocyte and uh, that's all so the dog definitely has recovered a lot and, uh, and there is good news for the owner. Queen's Vet, Queen's Veteran Surgery. Singapore, April. 26th Tuesday 2016 Babesia canis from peripheral blood smear in a dog two weeks after the first injection of Imazol. The blood test shows a bit higher hemoglobin plus red blood cells but still below normal range. The platelet still remain at, at less than 10 has during the first consultation on April the 9th, two weeks ago. Other than that, physically the dog is active, eating and not lethargic, despite the low platelet count and medication has been given. That includes toxicycline to treat this case of Babesia canis it notice the red blood cells have become spiky and uh, this is another one with 
the Merozoid tear, tear shaped inside the red blood cell causing disruption of the membrane as well anemia and thrombocytopenia Queen's Veteran Surgery Singapore April 26, 2016